Hello and welcome to Tutor Pipes Tutorials for Flash Professional 8. In this tutorial we're going to go over onion skinning and by the end you should have intermediate knowledge with how to work with onion skins. Onion skinning is the process of viewing multiple frames all at once. Okay, it's best used for frame by frame animations however if you have complex motion or shape tweens this feature can also come in handy as well. Uh, onion skins is the same thing as um, viewing the objects on the stage in a sort of um, sort of like a like a ghostly sort of translucent um, uh, way. What happens is the frame that you are currently on will actually appear normal while the other frames surrounding uh, the initial frame but within the onion skinning markers will appear in a lighter sort of transparent format okay and this helps you position uh, and uh, coordinate you know timing and it mainly helps you in um, it mainly helps you with precise animation and like I said before it's best used for frame by frame animation it's and it's almost like the old Disney cartoons where they were able to see uh, a few frames at a time so they can better um, perfect their walk cycles or they can better affect uh, just you know um, just movement of uh, some sort okay and if you wanted to be able to use the onion skinning uh, the onion skin feature is right here okay it's one of these four you can consider this one as well but these are the onion skin um, buttons right here they they all do different things and what this particular one is is our onion skin activation okay and this is just like normal this is our regular uh, onion skin and you can see the actual motion that is going to take place in our animation okay obviously we're on the last frame and uh, our frame marker indicates that now our onion skinning though our onion skin marker indicates that we're current well, we'll always see the current view or the current frame and whatever is enclosed in the other side of the uh, the onion skin marker is the frames that we see okay now we can actually adjust the size of these onion skins or of these onion skin markers to whatever we like okay whether it be uh, two frames three frames ten frames or thirty frames all we need to do is click and drag to the position that we want okay and you can see now that all of these are in a sort of a, a lighter format so you just so you can easily view the current uh, marker okay now if we wanted to see our uh, other frames as outlines instead of uh, you know a translucent sort of format we click on this button right here which is our onion skin outlines button okay and of course you're only allowed to edit one frame at a time which is the current frame that you're going to be on okay now if we wanted to edit multiple frames though we click on the edit multiple frames uh, button and we make sure that it's on okay now if we were to select the object no matter what frame it's on we can delete it we can um, uh, change it we can do whatever we want to with it now obviously I can't do anything here because there is no keyframes and that's a good tip to remember alright if you have if you wanted to edit multiple frames obviously you have to have a keyframe so the uh, so the animation can change and then you can edit it that way okay but we're gonna turn that off and this is our modify onion markers okay always show markers which is what we have now uh, anchor onion 
which uh, locks the onion skin markers to their current position in the timeline header. Normally, the onion skin range is relative to the current frame pointer and the onion skin markers. By anchoring the onion skin markers, you can prevent them from moving with the current frame pointer. Okay. You can see that as I go back in time in our animation, our onion skin markers move with it. However, if you wanted to anchor them, that's how you would do it. Anchor onion. And now just our marker moves. Just our playhead. Okay. Onion 2 displays two frames on either side of the current frame. Onion 5 will display five frames on either side of the current frame. And Onion All displays all the frames. Okay, and obviously your, um, your uh, frame rate is here and the current marker is here. Okay, so these are mainly your onion skins and if you are creating, uh, you know, character animation and uh, very, very complex um, animations, you will be using onion skinning all the time. Okay, these really aren't for, uh, for websites or web applications but these are mainly used for uh, for complex animations, designs, and so on and so forth. Okay, so by now you should have intermediate knowledge with exactly what onion skins are and how to use them. So thank you very much for watching Tutor Pipes Tutorials.